Chris from Harrison's Homes, and welcome to my monthly market update. The latest land registry data for the end of 2023 was released recently and highlights how resilient the property market has been following the hangover of the mini budget in autumn 2022. So across the United Kingdom, UK house prices ended 2023 at 284,691 on average. And this was 740 pound or 0.26% down on the start of the year when they were at 285,431. They were also just over 7,000 pounds and 2.41% down on the peak of September 22 when they were 291,716. However, they are still just over 56,000 and 24.6 9% higher than from the six years ago when they were at 228,314. So house prices in our local authority of Swale ended 2023 at an average of 294,375 and this was just over 19,000 or 6.09% down on the figure of 313,462 at the start of 2023. They were also just over 22,000 and 7.06% down on the peak of 316,740 in December 22. However, again, they're still just over 43,000, 17.41% higher than the start of 2019, when they were just at 250,729. As you can see from this graph, over the past six years, there's been an average of 987 properties for sale. In 2024, there are 1,208 properties available. There were 32.31% more properties for sale in February 2024 compared to Feb 2023. And this was also up 22.39% on the six year average for February. This number was also slightly up on the prior month of January. As you can see from the next graph, over the past six years, this shows the number of listings, sales, fall throughs, withdrawn, and price adjustments. So new listings in February 2024 were 33.17% up on February 23 and 11.43% up on the six year average for February. However, they were 5.21% down on the prior month of January. Sales agreed were up 42.22% in February 24 compared to the same month in 2023 and 5.49% up on the six year average for February. They were also 38.13% up on the prior month of January. The number of properties withdrawing from the market in February 2024 was 18.02% down on February 23 and 22.88% down on the six year average for February. They were also down 47.09% on the prior month of January. The number of price changes in February 2024 were 18.18% .18 up on February 23 and 45.69% up on the six year average for February. They were also 5.63% up on the previous month of January. So what's my conclusion? There are a number of properties coming to the market and this has resulted in an increased number of sales happening as buyers have more choice. This has also resulted in fewer properties withdrawn from the market as homeowners are finding it easier to find their next home. However, with more and more choice for buyers comes more competition for sellers, and this would explain why price adjustments are still on the rise with 48% of properties that went under offer in January having done so for a price adjustment of their property. Next, we have the month and year average of asking prices and average pounds per square foot. February 24, January 24. So the average asking price for new listings to the market shows that sellers have not adjusted their asking prices over the last year. And this would explain why there are a significant number of properties still having to reduce their asking prices. Next is the sales agreed averages. The average asking prices for sales agreed in February shows that those who are more realistic on their pricing and also the lower value properties are more likely to sell. Lastly, we have the average exchanges month and year price pound per square foot or the average price pound per square foot and price achieved. The average asking prices of exchanges that took place in February typically highlight properties that had sales agreed four months ago and initially listed on the market six months ago. I hope you found this interesting. I will be providing another monthly update at the end of March. Speak soon.